Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. You've been searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that was real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you. It's only this moment, don't care what can gather. Y'all feel a dream, can't you see you getting closer? Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion. There's something breaking at the brick of every wall, it's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you wanna go? Where it's covered in all the color lights. Where the runaways are running the night. Impossible come true, it's taking over you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the 2018 uh, Fall Arts Festival and, of course, our 2018 Junior Miss Pageant as well. For those of you that were here last night, thank you for coming back out in the uh, cold weather to join us this morning. We appreciate you being here, supporting not only the girls backstage, but the uh, directors, our three judges, and, of course, the Fall Arts Festival and Chamber of Commerce. It's a great event, a long tradition here in Louisville, and we are thankful that it continues to be a great thing for these girls backstage as well. At this time, uh, with our welcome out of the way, I'm going to uh, invite our 2017 Junior Miss Queen, Miss Olivia Hahn, to the stage. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. I'm the 2017 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen, Olivia Hahn. Today we have seven beautiful ladies vying for the title to be the next 2018 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen. So sit back and relax as we bring to you the greatest show. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am contestant number one, Danae Jasmine Levi. My sponsors for this year's pageant are Levi's Garage and Restorations and Dean's Ag and Heavy Equipment Repair, both located in Louisville. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number two, Presley Camden Hamilton, and my sponsor for this year's pageant is Clay County State Bank of Louisville. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number three, Madison Winterode, sponsored by Winterode Construction of Louisville. Thank you. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number four, Paris Lane Van Dyke. And my sponsor for this year's pageant is the Mustard Seed Home Decor, Florals, and Events of Louisville. Thank you. Still in your mind, and all that was real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number five, Callie Johnson. My sponsor for today's pageant is Louisville Clay County Farmers Mutual Insurance Company. Thank you. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am contestant number six, Elena Suzuki. My sponsor for this year's pageant is Glamour Farms Boutique of Louisville. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number seven, Sydney Aaron Kincaid. My sponsor for this year's pageant is Kincaid Oil Producers. Thank you. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. You've been searching in the dark. Your sweat soaking through the floor. I see it in your eyes. If you believe that lie, that you need to hide your face. Afraid to step outside. So you lock the door. But don't you stay that way. Come on, living in no shadows. Never, never be the same. Never be the same. Life is tiny. Life is tiny. 
how many queens does it take? <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Right. If you haven't noticed yet, we do have three lovely young ladies on the uh, stage this evening with us, right in front of the other stage in front of us. They are our three judges this morning. We want to thank them for coming. We're going to welcome them one by one. Uh, first of all is Miss Doris Gabin. Doris is a medical office operations manager where she observes, oversees the daily operations of a pediatric office where she includes a staff of six people, podiatric, not pediatric, podiatric office. Before taking on this new challenge almost a year ago, Doris was an entrepreneur with an international business degree. She started her own business in Florence, Italy in 1994 where she specialized in luxury handmade items such as handbags, briefcases, and accessories. In 2001, she moved the business to downtown Chicago and grew into five retail locations by the end of 2012. She is a trilingual Italian, English, and Arabic and is always looking to add another language to her dictionary. Doris enjoys traveling, attending live venues, but her true happy place is in the kitchen where she likes to experience different cultures through her cuisine. But you have to love to cook when she has to feed five grown men and six if you account her husband. Her limited free time is precious to her, so when Doris is not at work or her happy place, you will find her doing other things she enjoys, such as judging a beauty contest for lovely and ambitious young women. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Doris Gabin. Judge number two is Miss Taylor Lehman. Taylor is a former Gallatin County Fair Queen where she has been the director for that pageant for the last five years. At the state pageant in Springfield, she was chosen to receive the Ruby Crumb Memorial Award for charm and enthusiasm. Taylor is now a pageant mom to two girls and a foster mom to three bonus kids. Judge number two, Miss Taylor Lehman. Judge number three is Ms. Leslie Knipple. Leslie is a certified medical assistant for 12 years and currently working for Dr. James Graham in Effingham. She attended Effingham Academy of Cosmetology in 2016, and she has a son and daughter, son named John, and a daughter named Adriana. In her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her family and watching her children and their activities. Ladies and gentlemen, judge number three, Ms. Leslie Knipple. And a round of applause for all three of our judges this morning as well for coming out to support this pageant and the judge this morning as well. We thank you ladies for coming, and I advise you, you have not, you do not have an easy day ahead of you. All right, at this time we're going to move to the casual wear portion of the Junior Miss pageant. Contestant number one, Miss Danae Jasmine Levi. You stumble through your Danae days. is the 11 year old daughter of Ethan and Don't Regina Levi, and she is in the sixth grade. Her favorite movie is The Greatest Showman, and her favorite food is steak and potatoes. But you can shake away, cause you're just a dead man walking. Her hobbies include tumbling cheerleading, going to games at the school, playing with her little siblings, sister, and cousins, listening to music, attending and competing in pageants, family board games, softball, fishing, and baking. Thank you, Danae. Contestant number two. Miss Presley Camden Hamilton. Could ever be, could you dream with your eyes wide open? Presley is the 11 year old daughter of Alex and Kelsey Locke and Heath Hamilton, and she is in the sixth grade. She has two siblings named Peyton Hamilton and Creed Locke. Her favorite movie is Cat in the Hat. 
and her favorite food is hot wings. Her hobbies include swimming, singing, camping, riding a razor, cheering, attending Bethlehem Christian Church, and helping lead the morning singing during worship. Thank you, Presley. Contestant number three, Miss Madison Winterrode. Madison is a 12-year-old daughter of Matt and Amanda Winterrode, and she's in the seventh grade. She has one sister named Mackenzie. Her favorite movie is The Miracle Season, and her favorite food is grilled chicken nachos, chicken and noodles, and buffalo wild wings. Her hobbies include showing rabbits and general projects with 4-H, competitive tumbling, cheer, dancing, playing volleyball with her family, collecting old coins and money from other countries. Thank you, Madison. Contestant number four, Miss Paris Lane Van Dyke. Paris is 13 year old daughter of John and Katrina Van Dyke, and she is in the seventh grade. She has two siblings named Parker and Paige. Her favorite movie is Midnight Sun, and her favorite food is macaroni and cheese. Her hobbies include playing the ukulele, 4-H, showing sheep, cake decorating, competitive cheerleading, styling her friends and family's hair and makeup, attending church camp at Oil Belt and Red Rush Church, where she enjoys helping teach fours and fives children class. Thank you, Paris. Contestant number five, Miss Callie Johnson. Callie is a 12 year old daughter of Jill Johnson, and she is in the sixth grade. She has one sister named Caitlin. Her favorite movie is The Miracle Season, and her favorite food is pork burgers. Her hobbies include volleyball, cheerleading, dancing, tumbling, swimming, watching YouTube, experimenting with makeup, and watching St. Louis Cardinals baseball. Thank you, Callie. Contestant number six. Miss Elena Ruth Suzuki. Elena is a 12 year old daughter of Greg and Ashley Suzuki, and she's in the seventh grade. She has three siblings named Kennedy, Hunter, and Reed. Her favorite movie is The Patriot, and her favorite food is Julian's Cheeseburgers. Her hobbies include tumbling at Power and Grace, playing the ukulele, showing projects in 4-H, and baking. Thank you, Elena. Contestant number seven, Miss Sydney Kincaid. Sydney is the 11-year-old daughter of Aaron and Amanda Kincaid, and she's in the sixth grade. She has two siblings named Brooke and Noah. 
Her favorite movie is Jurassic World. And her favorite food is chicken and pickles. The hobby that she most enjoys is basketball. And her school activities also include basketball and enrichment. Thank you, Sydney. All right, at this time, we're gonna welcome the girls back on stage for one final look in casual wear. Ladies. Thank you, ladies. Time, let's welcome our past and visiting queens to the stage. I'm last, so. Oh, wait, we're guys, last? Yeah, we're last, so. Okay. Go ahead and stand over here. Am I last? Yeah. You're first. Okay. I would like. Okay, good morning everybody. Um, excuse my voice, but I am Michaela Stanfield and I was your 2015 Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen and I want to wish all the beautiful young ladies backstage the best of luck. Thank you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is May Cameron and I was your 2016 Little Miss Fall Harvest Festival Queen. And I would like to wish all the ladies backstage the best of luck. Thank you. Hi, I'm going to try as, and be as professional as them, but I don't I don't remember, but I think I'm 2011 Junior Miss Fall Festival Queen, <laughs> and my name's Camden. I'm McKenna Waddles, and I was your 2012 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen. Hello, my name is Clay Laco. I'm your 2018 Little Miss Apple Queen. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lexi Payne, and I am your 2018 Miss Flora Apple Queen. And here I have the tiny miss. Can you say your name? Apple Queen. Kaylee. You're say your na say Kaylee. My name is Kaylee. Kaylee. What's your name? Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Cook, and I am your 2018 Junior Miss Flora Apple Queen. I would like to wish all the contestants backstage the best of luck. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kenley Souter. I'm a 2018 Linnewis Clay County Fair Queen. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Landry Lynn Irwin, and I'm the 2018 Junior Miss Clay County Fair Queen. I was also your 2014 Little Miss and 2016 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queens. Thank you. Hello and good morning, everyone. My name is Cheyenne Gregory. I am the 2018 Miss Clay County Fair Queen, and I was also your 2016 Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen. And I want to wish all the ladies backstage good luck. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to thank you all to come out or for coming out to our pageant. Um, I was the 2014 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen, and I am also the reigning 2017 Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Olivia Hahn, and I'm the reigning 2017 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen, and I'd like to wish all my contestants backstage the best of luck. Thank you. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mila Zink, and I'm your 2017 Little Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen. Thank you. All right, thank you, ladies. At this time, we're going to move to the final portion this morning, which is the Junior Miss formal wear portion of this morning's pageants with an on-stage question. Contestants, number one, Miss Danae Jasmine Levi. Danae is the 11-year-old daughter of Ethan and Regina Levi, and she is in the sixth grade. Her favorite movie is The Greatest Showman, and her favorite food is steak and potatoes. Danae's role model is her coach from the U of I gymnastics camp because she is an elite college gymnast, and Danae hopes to be just like her. Danae says her coach taught her so many new skills and to be confident in herself. Danae, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? If I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to Paris. The language is just beautiful, and it has always been my dream to see the Eiffel Tower. Thank you. Thank you, Danae. Contestant number two. Miss Presley Camden Hamilton. Presley is the 11 year old daughter of Alex and Kelsey Locke and Heath Hamilton, and she is in the sixth grade. She has two siblings named Peyton Hamilton and Creed Locke. Her favorite movie is Cat in the Hat, and her favorite food is hot wings. Presley says her role model is her Gigi. She loves her Gigi's clothing style and she wants to be a foods teacher just like her. Presley's favorite hobby is leading worship during church. Presley, what is your favorite thing about living in Louisville and why? My favorite thing about living in Louisville is being closer to my grandparents who I get to see every day. Thank you. Thank you, Presley. Contestant number three. Miss Madison Winterrode. Madison is a 12 year old daughter of Matt and Amanda Winterrode, and she is in the seventh grade. She has one sister named Mackenzie. Her favorite movie is The Miracle Season, and her favorite food 
is grilled chicken nachos, chicken and noodles, and buffalo wild wings. Maddie says her role model is her Aunt Marissa, who passed away in February from breast cancer. She is grateful for her teaching her how to have a strong faith in God, the importance of being a volunteer, and showing her that nothing is more important in life than her family. Madison, if you could be principal of your school for one day, what would be the first thing you would add to the daily schedule? If I could be principal at my school for a day, one thing I would add to this schedule is a 30 minute read and relax time. Recently, I've been inspired by my reading teacher, Mrs. Akers, that has taught me the importance of reading and how it affects our learning. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. Contestant number four, Miss Paris Lane Van Dyke. Paris is a 13 year old daughter of John and Katrina Van Dyke, and she's in the seventh grade. She has two siblings named Parker and Paige. Her favorite movie is Midnight Sun, and her favorite food is macaroni and cheese. Paris enjoys playing the ukulele, 4-H, church camp oil belt, and attending Red Brush Christian Church. Paris says her role model is her grandpa Jim. What movie or song title best describes your personality? The song title that best describes my personality is Reckless Love because it shows my love for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Paris. Contestant number five. Miss Callie Johnson. Callie is a 12 year old daughter of Jill Johnson and she's in the sixth grade. She has one sister named Caitlin. Her favorite movie is The Miracle Season and her favorite food is pork burgers. Callie enjoys volleyball, cheerleading, dancing, and tumbling. Woo! Callie says her role model is her mom because she always supports her in whatever she wants to do and she helps her to always do her best in everything. What is your 
your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is my grandma's cookies because who doesn't love their grandma's cookies? Thank you. Thank you, Callie. Contestant number six. Miss Elena Ruth Suzuki. Elena is a 12-year-old daughter of Greg and Ashley Suzuki, and she is in the seventh grade. She has three siblings named Kennedy, Hunter, and Reed. Her favorite movie is The Patriot, and her favorite food is Julian's Cheeseburgers. Elena enjoys showing projects with 4-H and tumbling at Power and Grace. Elena says her role model is Corey Ten Boom because she always showed great bravery and faith in the Lord during her life-threatening and difficult circumstances. What is the biggest problem facing junior high students today? The biggest problem facing junior high students today is social media. With one word, one caption, one post, it can bring tons of people down or lift tons of people up. I would like to see more people bringing people up. Thank you. Thank you, Elena. Contestant number seven, Miss Sydney Kincaid. Sydney is the 11 year old daughter of Aaron and Amanda Kincaid, and she is in the sixth grade. She has two siblings named Brooke and Noah. Her favorite movie is Jurassic World, and her favorite food is chicken and pickles. Her favorite sport is basketball, and her favorite activity is enrichment. Sydney says that her role model is her mother. Sydney, what would your best friend say their favorite thing about you is? One thing my best friend would say about me is that I am one of a kind because I am very different from the people that she has met. Thank you. Thank you, Sydney. Right, at this time, we're going to call the ladies back on stage for one final look, both in formal wear and this morning. Ladies. Number, 
please step forward. When I say your name, please step back. Contestant number one, Ms. Danae Levi. Contestant number two, Ms. Presley Hamilton. Contestant number three, Ms. Madison Winterrode. Contestant number four, Ms. Paris Van Dyke. Contestant number five, Ms. Callie Johnson. Contestant number six, Ms. Elena Suzuki. Contestant number seven, Ms. Sydney Kincaid. But a round of applause for all of our girls this morning as they uh, have their one last final look. We're going to let them stand for a moment, have the judges have one more look before they make their decision. All right. Thank you, ladies. so much for coming this, this morning. Uh, we hope to see you at 2 o'clock for our parade here in Louisville, and immediately following that, right here on this very stage, we'll find out who our 2018 royalty is. God bless you all. We'll see you in a few hours. At this time, we're going to move to our junior Miss Crowning. We are going to welcome our 2017 queen and 2018 contestants to the stage. Ladies. All right, this time we're going to welcome our 2017 Queen, Miss Olivia Hahn, to the front of the stage for her retiring address. Your 2017 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen is... Contestant number one, Olivia Hahn. Those are, words are something I've dreamed about hearing since the first time I stepped foot on stage as a nervous four-year-old in the annual Little Miss pageants. After competing twice for the Little Miss title, my love for pageants grew even stronger when I was chosen first runner-up in Miss Congeniality in 2014. After patiently waiting, hard work, and reminding myself that no matter what path God has for me, I still have the same, I still am the same person I was with or without a crown, that my dream became reality on October 28th last year. Maybe it was the overwhelming excitement or the hypothermia I was feeling in my legs, but it seemed as if time stood still the moment my name was called for queen. My reign got off to a quick start within a couple hours. I was riding in my first parade as queen in the Florida Halloween Parade, hearing all the little girls say, look at the pretty princess, mommy, it's Elsa, and cheers a grab congratulations throughout the crowd is one of my favorite things about every parade I have attended. I know you all are ready to hear who your new queen will be, but I would not, it would not be a true farewell speech without thanking the people who made my reign the best. First and foremost, God, it is you and only you who knows the perfect timing of everything. Every prayer and wish I have ever made came true when you chose me to be the queen of this great town. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Louisville Chamber of Commerce. Words cannot express my gratitude that you support the Junior Miss each and every year. It is because of your hard work that girls like me get to experience one of the best years of their junior high life. Thank you for all you do to bring such amazing festival to our town every year. 
Stephanie Bailey, you have been so great with every detail of the festival and making sure that every decision was done with my thoughts and my opinion in mind. I am so grateful for you and the work you do. To the Village of Louisville Employees and Interact Club, thank you for working tirelessly and putting together the festival each year and making sure the square looks amazing before our family and friends gather for this weekend. Our work and community service is appreciated. To my sponsor from last year, Gl Glamour Farms, thank you for your continued support of the Louisville Fall Festival. I was proud to represent you. Abby Bailey Shelton, being almost due with your little girl didn't stop you from rocking out the winning hair and makeup from last year and making me look beautiful today as I pass the crown to another. Thank you for always coming to our rescue and making me look and feel beautiful. Roy Taylor Photography. Thank you for amazing pageant photos and my farewell photos are something I would cherish forever because you let me just be me. You capture, captured my personality to a T. Louise Beck, you, you are the master seamstress that every girl sinks, seeks to make and transform pageant attire every year and I'm so thankful for your talent and support this year. You're the best. James Russell. <laughs> Since I was a little girl, I always wanted to ride in your big truck, but this year I once again got a ride in it as queen. You are always there whenever we need you, and I think I, you enjoy doing it as much as I, I enjoy you being able to. I'm sure parades weren't your ideal date night, but you and Pam always did them with a smile, and we had the best times together. You will always and forever be my James. Thank you, Pam and Bethy, for all your encouraging words, love, and laughter. I love you guys so much. You too, Nick. Thanks for wearing pink for me today. They aren't going to like it, but if you, I could have all the directors come to the stage, no one be shy. I want to speak to all of you personally. Amanda? <laughs> you know? You should. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Brooke Anderson, thank you for allowing me to allowing me the opportunity to meet 13 of the coolest, funky, sometimes wild, and beautiful princesses this year. I enjoyed my weeks of working with them and getting to know all their unique personalities. You were so good to include me in all the fun, and I enjoyed every minute of it. To the Little Miss director, Megan Payne, I'm so glad I got to know you as a member of the crew last year, and now as the new director, I am sure all this pageant stuff is overwhelming, but you've done a great job. Thank you for bringing me to Thank you for bringing me the convertible to ride in for my farewell. I save the best for last with that sweet ride. <laughs> to the misdirectors, Amanda Winroad and Felicia Ehrman. From day one, I knew that some of the funniest moments <laughs> from this year would come from the two of you. People don't realize the amount of time you guys put in to make the pageant system great every year, but I got to see it firsthand. Amanda, thank you for always making me feel like the most important queen wherever we went and always bringing the party with your love and laughter and dancing. I will never forget all you have done for me. <laughs> Felicia. <laughs> Thank you for making sure my hair didn't look like a ghost after my crazy idea. I always stress more than we do to make sure I look and feel perfect for everything I did. I have the best hairstylist ever in you, but most importantly, a friend. I love you. And Felicia, I now know where the EpiPen is in your truck for, where, <laughs> for whenever there's a catastrophic buck. I would never let you go straight to the grave on my watch. <laughs> Last but not least to my director, Evelyn Bible. I never understood how someone could love a child like their own until I felt your love for me. There are no words to describe what a great director, friend, and second mom you have been to me over the year, but I want you to know that you have a special place in my heart forever, and I can't, you can't get rid of me that easy. I love you. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and now for the Kleenexes. <laughs> Please bear with me as I have a few more to thank. To my best friend, Camry Austin. 
No words can explain what a great friend you are, from teaching me the whip and nene in a hotel room to blasting music in our room till 2 a.m. No one can top a friendship like ours. I know I've told you these words so many times, but you need to know that you are so beautiful, kind, loyal, courageous, smart, and adventurous, and these are traits I love about you. I don't have any more words about how much I love you. You're the best, Petra. To my Hawker family, yes, that's right. When you have friends who are more like family, you combine your last names, and no matter how scary it sounds, Han and Walker still sounds better as Hawker. Shane, Rachel, and Eli, when I looked into the crowd after being crowned, the first person I saw with tears besides my mom was you, Rachel. Your love and support of everything I do resembles that of parents, and I am proud to call you guys that. Eli, I never got a brother, but of all the annoying, smelly, and sweet kids I could choose from, I'm glad you're my adopted brother. No, you're not adopted. We just tell you that. <laughs> to the Washburn family, over the years you have been there to love, support me, everything I do. I never have to wonder if I have family when you all are around because your love is always in abundance for me, whether I have a crown on my head or not. I love you guys for loving me like your own. To my grandpa and grandma Clark, you may not hear, be here today, but you were the for me last year to calm my nerves, make me laugh, and remind me that my inner beauty could shine before my outer beauty. Thank you for traveling from Florida and being here to see me crowned queen. Thank, grandpa, thank you for spending the day at the beach with me to make my perfect uh, queen's photos in my favorite place. Grandpa and Grandma Han, thank you for always, thank you for all you do for me to make me feel special and loving every moment of being queen as much as I have. From showing everyone pictures whether they wanted to see them or not, you were so proud of me throughout this year. I love you guys. Okay. Great Grandma Wanda, life has brought you many changes over the last three years and even though you couldn't be at the pageant last year you told me I was already your queen right before I competed when I walked into your house with my crown on I always cherished the moment of joy in your face and the tears in your eyes I did this for you and I had love I had your love and strength in my heart when I walked on stage I love you more and more every day Nana and Papa Nana, words cannot express how much I admire, love, and cherish you. You're the greatest woman of faith, generosity, and love. From sleepovers to fat dad's trips, every conversation we had was always about your sugar plum being a queen and how proud of me you were. I know that no matter what obstacles come in my way, and no matter what obstacles come my way in life, you will always be my biggest fan and supporter. I've ne I never have to wonder... If, you, if I make you proud because you show me in so many ways that I do, this title meant just as much to you as it did to me, and I'm glad you got to share it with me. I love you so much, Nana. Papa, I know pageants aren't your thing, but I always, you always come to support me and wear whatever I ask you to, even, it was, even if it was a pink shirt today. I love you too so much. Mom. I don't know what I would do without your love and support throughout the year. You were my chauffeur, hairstylist, personal shopper, assistant, and everything in between. There are no words to describe how amazing you are. I know I'm hard to handle sometimes, but you always tell me the best advice and to just have faith. I love you so, so much, and I couldn't thank you enough for all you have done to make this year the best of my life. Dad. I know that all this pageant stuff isn't your thing, but you have become the best pageant dad ever. From going dress shopping with me to putting on my crown, even if it is crooked every time, you are all, <laughs> you are all always there when I need you the most. I couldn't thank you enough for all the hours you put in to give me everything I need and want, and I love you so, so much. Where are they? Maddie and Mila. I don't know where to begin. As an only child, all I ever wanted was to have a sibling. Lucky for me, I got two at once, and I was right in the middle. Maddie, having an older sister, I was able to be guided by someone I admire and look up to. And Mila, as a younger sister to me, I had, a, I had the chance to lead by example for you and show you that it was what it was like to have a positive role model that you could always count on. I'm sad our journey is ending as queens, but our friendship and sisterhood will continue for a lifetime. I love you guys so much and look forward to what the future has in store for us. Hopefully no gigantic tiny spiders.
to my contestants. <laughs> you are all queens to me as well as amazing, loving, and kind girls. I'm so glad to have gotten to know you more over the past few weeks. Always remember to just be you. A crown doesn't define who you are. Your beauty from within does. To the new 2018 Junior Miss Queen, welcome to the family. Cherish every moment you have as the year goes by so fast. Stand tall, always wear your crown, and be sweet on the inside just like a pineapple. You're <laughs> about to experience the best year of your junior high life, and you have always had a friend in me. It is my honor and privilege to say to you for the last time, I am Olivia Faith Hahn, your 2017 Junior Miss Louisville Fall Harvest Festival Queen. Thank you. <laughs> In 2017, Junior Miss, Miss Olivia Hahn. Thank you so much for the past year of dedication to Louisville. All right, this time we're going to begin our award ceremony, but first we are going to have each lady step forward. When I say your number, when I say your name, please step back. Contestant number one, Miss Danae Levi. Contestant number two, Miss Presley Hamilton. Contestant number three, Miss Madison Winterrode. Contestant number four, Miss Paris Van Dyke. Contestant number five, Miss Callie Johnson. Contestant number six, Miss Elena Suzuki. Contestant number seven, Miss Sydney Kincaid. At this time, let's welcome back our 2018 County Queens to give out their donor award. Hello, everyone. We're back. <laughs> this year's top donor for the Junior Miss is... Contestant number six, Elena Suzuki. Thank you, girls. We'll see you again one more time for the Miss Award. At this time, we're going, to be, we're going to continue our award presentation with the Junior Miss with our Junior Miss Ambassador Award. Your 2018 Junior Miss Ambassador is contestant number four, Miss Paris Van Dyke. Next up is our Junior Miss Dedication Award. And your 2018 Junior Miss Dedication Award goes to contestant number five, Miss Callie Johnson. Up is our Junior Miss Photogenic Award. 
your 2018 Junior Miss Bojanic Award goes to contestant. Hold on. This one's really sticky. All right. Bojanic Award goes to contestant. Number seven, Miss Sydney Kincaid. Next, we have our Junior Miss Congeniality Award. Your 2018 Junior Miss Congeniality Award goes to contestant number six, Miss Elena Sazuski. We have our Junior Miss Casual Wear Award. Your 2018 Junior Miss Casual Wear Award goes to contestant number six, Elena Sazuski. Our Junior Miss Stage Presence Award. Your 2018 Junior Miss Stage Presence Award goes to contestant number four, Miss Paris Van Dyke. Directors a second to place the trophies for our placers and our queen. All right, we're gonna move to our top three in the junior miss. First up is our 2018 junior miss, second runner up. Those are contestants. Number four, Miss Paris Van Dyke. First runner up. You are 2018 Junior Miss. First runner up is contestant number three, Miss Madison Winter Road. Time we're going to have our queen, Leisha Manure, 2018 Junior Miss Queen, is contestant number six, Miss Elena Suzuki.
to be This is me Look out, cause here I come And I'm marching on to the beat I drum I'm not scared to be seen I make no apologies This is me Once again, we're going to remind you All photography will be after the mist crowning all non-professional photography will be after the mist crowning. Also, please vacate the step area. Thank you very much. Another 